Thank you for tuning in as we have another basement bash battle, whatever you want to call it, going down. And in this matchup, you're going to see myself, Jeremy Tracy, uh, partnered with Simon Dowrick. And we are sitting to your right and your left. Uh, I'm sitting to the right side of the screen. Simon is to the left. And we are playing against Ron Langell and Lord Mark Boot. And uh, Ron Langell is at the top of your screen and Mark Boot is at the bottom of the screen. And I believe before this video started, we did a diddle for the middle to determine who was going to go first and uh, Tracy and Dowrick must have won that because we're going to see Mark Boot, Lord Boot, lead off this uh, the start of this match. So again, he is at the bottom of your screen starting this match up off, going for an open 20, obviously. Just slightly off, it, it almost dropped, but not quite. And now uh, Simon, it's always easy to tell which one Simon is. He has this spider action with his fingers which seems a little unorthodox, but is usually very, very effective. Now with uh, Tracy and Dowrick having the hammer, the pressure is absolutely on Langell and Lord Boot to get back into the middle to try to get that 20, because if it stays just on the board, um, yeah, it's, it's not necessarily. With, with us having the hammer, they very much want to get up in the 20s. So there's a nice, a nice takeout by Boot, and now, but Simon is definitely set up at this point for a double takeout. You can see the the angle is it's pretty friendly for going for that double takeout. And uh, apparently that wasn't good enough for Simon. He got the double takeout and dropped the twenty. Absolutely a super satisfying shot. There's Ron just missing. Just a little off with that uh, that open 20. It's one of those one of those things. If yeah, you just um, you get into a groove or out of a groove as far as open 20s go. So now Ron and Mark having a bit of a discussion here, and Ron is suggesting that he go for that uh, the angle in 20. It is there. It's not uh, not easy, but it's definitely definitely there for him. Let's see. Just a titch off on the, wasn't really that far off, he just needed to be a little different on the angle he, he contacted the disc and that may have, may have dropped for him. Simon with a great play because he's left Ron with really no option. He might be able to get into the middle, but the leg of 20, he'd have to catch a peg. So that was a great shot by Simon. See there, Ron trying to get in, catch a couple of pegs and uh, I'm guessing Tracy's gonna stay, oh, he didn't. He's, he's telling Simon, he, talking about myself in the third person, but yeah, uh, I think part of the thinking there was to not leave if, if it had left on that side of the board and then Boot just did a hit and stick, then it leaves, it leaves Simon trying to shoot all the way across through the pegs. But by putting it into the middle, it, uh, it eliminated the possibility of, of, of Mark being able to hide on that side of the board. I'm not sure what Ron's going for here. All right, he was just going for the touch 20. I was looking at this, the way it was set up, it really wasn't wasn't nice for a double. Leaving Tracy with a fairly easy touch 20, a little bit of a drop back there, but it was, it was pretty much set up for him. Now Mark probably going for a double here. A little aggressive, but it's, yeah. He did make contact both just a, a titch off on the angle. I don't, it'd be super brazen for Simon to go for a double takeout here. Possible, but the likelihood of catching his own. I think he was gunning for it, but uh, this leaves Ron with a very interesting shot because it's gonna be tough to not take the green one out, as he did. But uh, at this point in the round, we're getting, you know, the, the pressure's pretty much off, Tracy and Dowrick being up 220s to nothing. Uh, this, is, this is posted, so it doesn't really leave me doesn't really leave me much to work with other than to get that takeout. I do absolutely respect and appreciate how Ron Langella and Mark Boot are looking at it going, okay, it's not mathematically impossible if they each drain the, these 20s. Like they're down two 20s, but they've got two shots left. So I absolutely subscribe to that theory. Um, yeah, just keep gunning. You're, you're either gonna win the round or lose the round, but there's no, there's no point in playing damage control. He went for it. It was a really good attempt. Now he has set Simon up for uh, for a for a touch twenty or a, a follow through twenty here, but it really doesn't matter at this point.
Hey, at this point, Ron uh, Ron doesn't realize that it's mathematically impossible, so they're still they're still considering what they're doing. But I'm I have no idea what scenario would have to play out in order for them to get back into this round for even a tie. In case you're wondering, you're gonna you're gonna see this video go up with. Uh, you're not going to hear the gameplay, and there's a reason for that. We're we're always learning, but the other match we did like this, and we tried to put it up because we were hanging out on a Friday or Saturday night. We were listening to tunes in the background, and uh, when I went up on YouTube, it picked up that background music, and we got a copyright flag and had to had to pull it down and remove that music. So on this one, it will go up sadly without that. Uh, with you won't hear the gameplay. Uh, we will correct that when we record future matches and uh, a little bit of foolishness going on, uh, buttons being shot around, the, enjoying the benefits of the round board. The boys are shooting the, shooting the buttons back and forth. So Tracy and Dowrick are up in this match two to nothing, and Dowrick starts with an open 20. Ron answers back. Players are catching their form now, getting into the groove of draining those 20s. Mark Boot getting in on the action. That's once all the way around. In this situation, you never ever want to be the first one to miss. <laughs> so, as boring as it is to watch as a player, the pressure just builds the longer it goes. And yeah, I just said it, but you see me shaking my fist at the middle because, yeah, I hate being the first one to miss. Although, yeah, it didn't really leave, at least it didn't really leave Mark with a, an easy 20. Impossible, but not, it wasn't like it was a, a gimme setup by any means. It was a very tough shot for him to drop. Now we're tied in the 20 count, but in, in this round with Boot and Langel having the hammer, they, at this point, you could say they have the advantage. So the pressure is on uh, Tracy and Dower to try to make something happen. Tracy going for, I think he, going for an assist there. Trying to trying to bump that green one up just beside the center hole, just overhit it a little bit. Um, as far as where the brown button went, it was a great location because it didn't leave Boot any option to get in off of that to disrupt. If if a uh, if a good setup had been made, Boot wouldn't have been able to run interference on it very easily. I believe that Simon was going for the double takeout there. Like I consider myself a fairly aggressive player. I'm going to go for the big shot, but Simon's a, a couple notches above that. Like anything he sees, he's just gunning for it, and actually has a pretty darn good success rate. So at this point, the the advantage is still to to Boot and Langel because now, now they have two buttons on and they have the hammer advantage while we're tied in the 20s. Again, true to form, here goes Simon. I think he's looking for a double take. It's there, it's not easy, but it, it is possible that uh, he's, uh, he's probably even talking about a follow through 20, which would be absolutely amazing. But the, the double take is there and almost needed at this point. Very good, yep. Not the, not the best result as far as where, where our button ended up because now, yeah, as you can see, Ron hides, Ron Langel does a great hide. Wasn't really a great, like, yeah, it was a decent hide. Um, should have been able to hit that, but yeah, it uh, shooting through Hogan's Alley can be troublesome sometimes. Boot drains that open 20, really, really almost putting the nail in the coffin on this round. Not mathematically out of it, but it, we're, we're, in, uh, we're in a tough position at this point. Yeah, calling the fire pegs, that's pretty much the only thing only thing there. Even if we had drained the 20, that would have tied the 20 count, and uh, Boot and Langel having the hammer, just all they would have needed was a valid shot to win it. But uh, yeah, the match is all tied up two to two. It's always nice to see a competitive match. Ron starts out, comes up a little bit short on that open 20, and uh, Great shot by Tracy, if I can say that, if I can humbly say that. <clears throat> Definitely a doable shot, but it's uh, easy to mess that up as well. Now, last round, everybody seemed to be on form with their open 20s, but uh, that that has left us, at least for the moment. So two setups for 20s that Tracy and Dowrick both capitalized on. And again, yeah, once you start missing, it gets in your head and you try to make adjustments, the next thing you see 
Ron uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically uh, doing what we call the Steve coming up short, not even making a valid shot. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's exactly uh, what I was trying to do there, but uh, very successful hide. Um, Which, yeah, that was a really, really tough. That was a skinny angle going through Hogan's Alley, which uh, Boot did miss that. Simon, again, just amazing with the follow through 20. I'm, I'm seriously considering adopting the, the spider technique because, yeah, he's able to shoot so strong and so straight that, uh, honestly, I've played with it a bit. <laughs> I, I can't make it work, but it, it works for him. But uh, three to one for Tracy and Dowrick in the 20 count. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> as John Conrad would say, unorthodox but effective. As uh, Boot hits two pegs on the way, but at least he made contact, so it's a valid shot. Now this round, it's time for Langel and Boot have dug a bit of a hole, although they're gonna, should be able to come back 120 on this. Oh, that's, that, those are not shots you can afford to miss. That was uh, a very nice setup for, for Ron. Now Tracy there with that shot, he did he did lose one of his own, but at uh, the end result was actually very good because it doesn't again boot and Langel not having much of an opportunity. So Simon's going to try to angle in so that Ron can't hide behind that peg, and at the same time so angle in but also not set Ron up for anything, which he did very successfully. Ron's going to be pretty much forced to try to come off of that button into a peg and bounce back, which. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be a pretty amazing shot if he's able to do that. So he may just look to do the takeout and then hope, hope something better sets up over the next couple of shots. Did make contact, so uh, technically a valid shot, but he lost his shooter in the process. There's uh, that pretty much slams the door shut. We're up, uh, it's still not mathematically impossible. They're down 320s, they have three shots left, but yeah, it would have to be fantastic shooting on their part and disastrous uh, shooting on our part in order for them to get back into this round. He caught the pin he was looking for. He said he was hoping to go off that pin and get back into the 20. But Simon, <laughs> Simon has always gunning. Never enough 20s for Simon. He was going for one more, just a little off. There's, there's Ron at this point, it just uh, feels good for them to, to drain a 20. Maybe Boot can drain another one and they can just, a little, bit of, a little bit of positive momentum to carry them into the next round. Not quite. This shot, as they say, inconsequential. Simon, or, uh, yeah, Simon didn't drain the 20, but uh, we're still successful in the round, so uh, Tracy and Dowick are up four to two. Headed into the fourth round. Starting this round with an open 20, putting a little bit of positive pressure on Mark Boot. He's up to the challenge, drains that 20, bringing it even. Simon a little off, just a little heavy on that one, a little off to one side. Ron doesn't make him pay. He, uh, yeah, he definitely wanted the takeout. It was a good, good choice to, to go for the takeout and the 20. Let's see what Tracy does here. Gets the off and the 20. Absolutely fantastic. Now Boot comes up just a tiny bit short. Simon's not gonna miss that one. That was a little too good of a setup. He dropped off to the side. And Ron gonna go for the bump and run. Probably the best shot. He would have had to drop to his non-dominant side if he wanted just a clean shot at the 20. And uh, it also leaves his his shooter ended up in a fantastic position. Didn't leave uh, didn't leave Jeremy anything to work with. He would have needed to do a follow through into a peg, which I think that's what he was gunning for, and ended up losing his shooter. So they're tied up, tied up in the twenty count. And uh, Langel and Boot have the hammer, so absolutely they are they're in control at this point. I think Ron was looking for that 20, which he didn't get, but again, uh, not a terrible result because 
not a lot to work with here. You just played the just played the takeout. Biden the time. There's still a few shots left, so there's there's time. That was a great shot by Boot because he gets the takeout, obviously, but it's where he rolled to. How he doesn't leave Simon with, uh, I mean, he, he, I'm sure he's gunning for it, but there's not. Yeah, he was going for the follow through into the peg, which he caught that peg, just uh, lost his shooter in the process. Now, this is a bit of an opening here. Jeremy can drain this. He does not. If he could have drained that, they would have been back into a much better position. Ron going through a follow through 20 here, or maybe just to hit and stick. I'm now, okay, yeah, what was I talking about? They didn't need, uh, they didn't need the 20. It would have been reckless him to go after a follow through, but it does leave Simon with maybe a touch, oh, he did have the angle for the touch 20, just that green one uh, denied him, kicked him out. So, absolutely they're in control at this point. Green with two on and the hammer. So Jeremy's pretty much forced to go for, yeah, going for the follow through 20. That pretty much seals it. Boot and Langel would have to make some pretty, pretty egregious errors here to open the door back up. Yeah, Simon's getting greedy. He's gonna go for the angle in, double take out 20. Oh, he gets it. He didn't get the double take out, but Amazing shot. Too little too late. Uh, we do end up up a 20, but with 35 points on the board, that is a clear win for, for Boot and Langel, bringing this match back to a tie again. Four points each in this race to nine battle. Lord Boot with the starting this round, going for the open 20. Resets, always a good idea if something doesn't feel quite right to reset. And he's still, uh, yeah, he came up just a little bit short. His, his line was good, just a little more steam, and he would have dropped that. Simon is not going to let that opportunity slip away from him. Braun, true to form, drains a 20. Jeremy's going to mix things up here, and he's uh, playing what they call the Conrad. Didn't even go for the 20. Um, yeah, just went to get a shot in there. The goal is to get it in there in, in such a position that... Raw, or sorry, boot doesn't uh, doesn't really have anything to work with. Simon getting a little aggressive there, going for uh, trying to get the twenty, and that's the challenge. You go for that touch twenty. If you don't get the 20 or the takeout, then uh, that's not ideal. And that's exactly what you saw happen there. So if he had gotten the takeout or the 20, he'd have been fine. But because he didn't get either one, he set he set Ron up for a 20 and it didn't leave Jeremy with an open board to shoot at to even that 20 count back up. So yeah, as, uh, as Roy Campbell likes to say, um, either get in or get away. So yeah, he didn't do either one. He didn't get the 20 and he, he left Ron set up. So. You see uh, Tracy looked at his options on that one and decided to try to do the assist play again, bumping that green one in toward the middle to hopefully set it up in such a way that Simon has uh, is able to drain a 20 off of that. bit of a debate here on what Boot should do with this shot. Simon capitalizing on that uh, on that assist play that Jeremy uh, put in there for him. So now let's see what Ron's going to do because he's going to want to take that out um, without without knocking greens off, which he did. Wow. Yeah, I think he was he was gunning for a 20 as well, which not a bad play considering that they don't have the hammer. Oh, oh, that is, uh, that's a look of shame right there. Um, I'm definitely gonna talk about myself in the third person there as, as Jeremy drops a 20 for the opponent. 
giving them the advantage in the in the 20 count. That's uh, it's a little embarrassing, but it's on camera now. Now we're running, getting down, running out of bullets. So uh, Jeremy's going to try for the angle in 20. A little bit of redemption there for him. <laughs> it's always nice after you. Uh, after you drain a, a 20 for your opponent, it's nice to follow that up by draining a 20 for yourself. So. so Boot drains that 20, which uh, gives them the lead again. Simon going for the angle in 20 just to titch off, so they're still in the middle, so they've got a chance to get this, get this evened up. That was a tough one for Ron. I think he did the right thing at getting his shooter out of the middle, but by not getting uh, by not getting the dark button off, here's what here's what we're left with. Because yes, they're up a 20, but at this point, um, Tracy and Dowerk have 25 points on the board. Every player has one shot left, so Langel and Boot are going to want to go for a 20, or uh, yeah, get that get that 15 knocked down to a 10, or even a five something in order to not leave it so that Tracy and Dowrick went on the board. Boot weighing out his options. I'm not sure if he's going for the double. Even if he doesn't get the double, if he gets the... Ah, okay. I was going to say, if he had gotten that one, gotten the one off and even moved the other one, it, that would have been a, a better position for them. I think Simon's going to go for a follow through 20 here. If he can drain this 20, that'll be, that'll be quite a dagger. That'll be quite a, pretty much seal it up, but let's see what happens here. Didn't get the 20, but we're still uh, still in fantastic shape with 25 points on the board. And uh, Ron Langell has one shot, and then Jeremy Tracy has the final shot. So yeah, Ron needs to do either get a 20, even that probably wouldn't do it, but uh, let's see what he does. Yeah, that definitely uh, definitely doesn't do it. All Jeremy needs to do is make contact, knocks that off, and then clearly they win on the board where we got uh, 40 points on the board. So Tracy and Dowrick take a six to four lead in this uh, in this race to nine battle. One of the things that's really enjoyable when you're playing competitive crokinole is one. It's always nice to be in a tight match, but I mean, even if the score didn't end up being tight, I uh, I really enjoy a crokinole match that comes down to the last one or two shots to determine the round. Um, it makes it makes every shot matter when when you're halfway through the round and one team is so far out that the other team doesn't have a shot. That's it's just less less enjoyable. But yeah, we got a close score, and most of these rounds have come down to that last couple of shots to, to truly finalize it and determine the winner of that round. So right now we're tied in the 20 count, and uh, Boot and Langel have the hammer in this round. Looking at their options, Ron. Ron's suggesting uh, if if Mark finds the angle coming through the pegs a little too tight, that he can just touch it from the outside. Maybe still get the okay. He still gets the off. That was uh, a little. It's always a little bit risky when you're knocking an opponent's button back into the middle, as you saw last round when Tracy drained a, a green twenty. But uh, yeah, sometimes you look and you and that is the lesser of two or three evils. Ron is not going to miss that opportunity. He drained that 20 with authority. Really got some pressure on. They are, uh, Boot and Landrill are up in 20s, 3-2, and they have the hammer. So Tracy and Dowrick have their work cut out for them to get back into this round. There's another 20. Yeah, 4-2. to two. Yeah, here's where we get a little tricksy. Trying to, trying to leave that one button where it's supposed to be while the while the 20 gets pulled out, but we just do our best and then, then get back to playing the greatest game on earth. Ron is looking at a very similar situation to what Mark was looking at a couple of shots ago, where it's such a skinny line coming through the pegs. I think that's what he's gonna opt for, just because to, to touch that from the outside, and yeah. He, uh, he easily picks that off. A little bit of a nervy shot, but he uh, very experienced player. He was able to pull that off. Tracy getting a little aggressive there, going for the bounce back 20. 
and he missed, but uh, yeah, obviously felt that the, the 20 was needed and that the takeout wasn't necessarily a gimme. Here's one of the here's one of the risks you run when you're when you're playing in the house is that you're always running the risk of setting your opponent up. These guys, as soon as, as soon as Tracy and, and Dowrick have a oh, that's a nice shot. If I can pat myself on the back there, as soon as Tracy and Dowrick drain a twenty, Langel and Boot are just answering right back. But uh, Boot came up short on that one, so we're five five tied in the twenty count and coming down to the last few shots. Tracy and Dowrick still need a 20 because they don't have the hammer. So they either, they either need a 20 or they need a mistake out of their opponents, which, yeah, Ron's not likely to make a mistake on this shot out in the open like that. He was probably trying to leave that rate more centered between the pegs, because uh, now there is the option to drop way over to the left side and uh, if that catch the angle. A little too late to do the assist play. Apparently the angles are feeling good tonight because that angle in 20 just drained like I knew what I was doing. Simon drains that to tie the round. That was uh, again another tight round come down to the last couple of shots. High pressure shots especially for boot you know when you're when you're down you know you're winning around and then uh, your opponents come back, put the pressure on you, and you're down to that last shot, and you need the 20 to tie, like, uh, yeah. Even if you're to a place where you have a fairly high success rate on your 20s, that 20 shot can be, can feel like a lot of pressure. Ron opens up this round by missing that, uh, missing that first open 20, so right away, Langel, or sorry, Dowrick and Tracy are in control, just, just slightly in control this round, very early yet, but they're definitely, Definitely in a good position leading out. Simon bouncing off the peg now. It's actually uh, it's actually a, a setup that Ron may be able to work with. Yeah, he gets a lot of pin action there. I think it hit three or four pegs and did just kind of scoot past that 20 hole. Tracy going for the 20, I think, on that one. It's hard to say, but uh, regardless of the intention, the outcome was that boot is set up for a, a, a pretty nice setup for a 20 which he capitalizes on drains that 20 didn't get the off but it would have been from that angle that was probably his best play to go for the touch 20 if he had gone for the off then the, the 20 would have been pretty tough to drain so so we're kind of back in a, a similar position tied in 20s and uh, With Tracy and Dowrick having the hammer, they definitely have the have the advantage. But Boot is set up here for a nice a nice attempt at the angle in 20. His angle was pretty good, maybe a titch off. The weight definitely needed some more uh, some more mustard behind that shot. Simon, his aggressiveness biting him a little bit because he went for that 20, but Langel was not able to make him pay. Now Jeremy's going to have a choice to make here because uh, Boot is fairly well set up so he really wanted to take away that setup but also not really, uh, he learned his lesson of knocking the green one in toward the center. Almost draining the 20 but it, you can see it's just caught up a little bit and the official ruling in the NCA that that button has to be laying flat in the bottom. If it's sitting there what we call a leaner that doesn't count, play continues. If the round had ended like this, those both of those discs would count as a 15. Uh, yeah, Simon got the double takeout, but also lost his shooter, so. Oh, sorry, Boot got the double takeout, but also lost his shooter. I can't tell these Brits apart. Getting back on form with their 20s. It's always interesting when midway through a round, all of a sudden you drop back into a 20s race, but that's, uh, that's how it goes. Everybody on form here, I believe that was four 20s in a row that just got drained. Another one for Simon. Another one for Ron. Pressure building. Another one for Tracy. Now the pressure's on boot. Drains it. And now Simon, all Simon needs is a valid shot. 
That's not good enough for him. He needs the 20, so he drains that. Thus, ending, get the old fist pump there by the victors as they win nine to five. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day.